guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. I'm Keely, and in today's video, I am giving you guys a bunch of things to do on New Year's Eve when you're sober. So for anyone that is like me and doesn't like to do a lot of drinking or that barely drinks in general, you know, this video is for you because you don't always have to get drunk or messed up on a holiday. So if you are like me, then just keep on watching and let's get into these ideas. Play Mario Kart. So Mario Kart is really, really fun whether it's on a tablet or a phone. It is super entertaining. You can do it with your family members and you can do it with anyone that is at your home. Have a game night. So game night can consist of board games, digital games, Xbox, Wii, if you guys want to go play tag in your backyard, if you guys want to have a pinata or something, you know, something crazy, just have a game night. Have blind makeovers. Blind makeovers are super fun whether you're a girl or boy. It is super fun and it's also hilarious to see the outcomes of these makeovers. Or get dressed up for no reason. I'm getting dressed up for no reason on New Year's Eve, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to as well. But play Wii games. So Wii games are not really outdated because I still have the original Wii, but whether it is the Wii or the Nintendo Switch playing Just Dance, Wii Sports, if you have any Sonic games, those are super duper fun to play with your family on a holiday. The pillow fight or playing the game Marshmallow. So my sisters and I have always had pillow fights, but we play this game called Marshmallow and it's where you put a mattress up against the wall and it's kind of silly kind of weird but we put a pillow on top of our heads with the pillow front like in front of our face and we will run into the mattress and see who falls first and we just do that until someone falls and have a movie marathon so there are a lot of movies that have you know one two three four five six and a couple of them right off the top of my head you have you know you can rewatch christmas chronicles jurassic park if you want to watch the santa claus movies if you want to watch tremors or any of those kind of movies they have a lot of movies with a lot of different things going on. So have yourself a movie marathon. Read a book. So any book is great. You guys can read any of your favorite books. Right now for me, it is currently the Divergent series and the 100 Dame series. So if you guys want to read those, those are my best recommendations. Bake treats. So this could be cookies, brownies. If you wanna build a gingerbread house, if you guys have not seen it, I did actually just show you guys how to make a gluten-free gingerbread house. So if you guys wanna check that out, it will be up here. But yeah, make a gingerbread house, cookies, brownies, if you want to make a homemade dinner, if you want to learn how to make homemade pasta or anything like that, have a spa night. So this could be anything ranging from a salt bath to getting yourself Starbucks to playing games that you like to play on your own time. If you want to do a crossword puzzle, if you want to do a face mask or paint your nails or do your hair or whatever you want to do. Do something for yourself and have a nice spa day. If you are a fellow YouTuber, this might intrigue you. Vlog your evening, vlog New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and then show others what you did for the holiday. Set up your 2021 planner. I know a lot of people have probably started it already, but why not just do it on New Year's Eve if you have nothing else to do? Get productive, get organized, and get ready to kick off the new year. Binge watch YouTube videos. So if you're like me, I binge watch my favorite YouTubers. So if you guys need any inspiration or if you guys need someone to pick from, I love Janine Amapola, Bethany Moda, Sarah Betts, Alicia Marie. Have an at-home photo shoot. If you want to get all dressed up for no reason, add on to your evening with a nice photo shoot. And you can even do it yourself if you have a tripod, a Bluetooth remote, and your cell phone. Have a sleepover in your living room. So recently, I've been sleeping in the living room with my mom, watching movies with the dots, and having hot chocolate and popcorn almost every night of December. So do that with your family, with your siblings, your cousins, whoever you're with on New Year's Eve. Just have a big, giant sleepover. Over. You guys in your PJs, make pallets, make a tent, watch movies, have snacks and drinks, and just have an amazing time. Knit a hat. If you are a knitter or if you are a crocheter, you can knit or crochet a hat or any of those cute little plushy bumblebees that have been going around trending on social media right now. Make TikToks or Instagram reels with your family and friends. Skype your family and friends. So if you guys watch my Vlogmas Day at 25, you guys would see that I actually vlogged my grandparents on Skype with my family and I. So you can Skype your grandparents, you can Skype your friends, your best friend, or anyone that you wanna spend Christmas Eve with, anyone that you wanna spend New Year's Eve with, and that way you can spend it with them through a virtual manner. Karaoke night. So I know a lot of people are probably like, girl, what is she talking about? But if you guys have that insanely popular microphone from TikTok and Instagram Reels, or if you have any Wii games that are singing games, you guys have yourselves a very loud, noisy, and obnoxious karaoke night. Last but certainly not least, 
Just do anything at home. Stay home. During New Year's Eve when people are out drinking or partying or any of that jazz, those of us that would prefer to stay sober or mostly sober really should not be out and about in those crowds. So if any of these ideas were helpful to you guys or if you guys got any inspiration, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what your plans are for New Year's Eve. Mine personally, I'm probably honestly going to get ready for no reason, drink a Kahlua, which has barely any alcohol in it, and just put some coconut whipped cream and dark chocolate syrup into it, and just watch movies the whole night and probably play some board games. It's seems like the perfect night to me. It's pretty fun. I'm also going to be vlogging New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so it's a perfect shindig. If you guys want to get inspiration, you guys can go and join the vlog fam so that you guys will see those vlogs when they are up. But if you would like to join the fam over here, you guys can subscribe if you would like to. I really hope that you guys are all enjoying these videos, and also, if you have not checked out the 200 subscriber giveaway, I do have a 200 subscriber giveaway going on right now, so get in while you can, and I can't wait to see who is the winner. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.